as if things are not as they seem with that country, just like in Ukraine. Things are not as they seem, but yet more and more, the truth is coming out. It's being made public. There are those who blow the whistle. They are coming forth regarding all the deceptions, the lies that the enemy has been speaking over the last couple of years. The enemy has overplayed his hand. And I'm going to speak it again. Everything the enemy does in every sphere, in every area of society, everything he does to attack, I speak backfire in those very areas, a mighty backfire, so much so that the enemy will regret he ever sparked and began such issues, such as the identity of the people attacking that, the children, how pathetic the devil must be that he must attack those who cannot defend themselves. Pathetic. The devil is the biggest bully that has ever existed. And I'm speaking this boldly. The loser. The forever loser. The holy fire of the living God. Is rising up within the remnant of God. And we speak boldly with authority. With power. Knowing who we are in Christ. And the vengeance is the Lord's. But we decree and we declare justice come forth, backfire, multiply. Everything the enemy does, accelerated judgment shall follow in the name of Jesus. Not only does God say, touch not my anointed, cause no harm to my prophets, but the very words go for the innocent the children, the babies. The Lord has been highlighting certain things to me in the last couple days. And it just continues to come out in the natural. I'm, I keep hearing about it more and more, what he's been highlighting in my spirit. Be in prayer against human trafficking. Be in prayer for the divine protection of the children in the schools. Be in prayer for the divine protection of the minds of those whom the enemy is sending unclean, perverted, and confusing spirits to cause them to not know who they are. The word of the living God says, God is not the author of confusion. Anything that is of confusion is not of God, period. God alone is the God of absolute truth. Truth will always supersede, override, and trump all facts in the natural. Because truth is spiritual, and the spiritual overrides the natural. May the Lord give us eyes to see, ears to hear, and an understanding heart so that we may be in alignment with His perspective, His eyes, His viewpoint, vantage point, His mind. For the Word of God says we have the mind of Christ. This is so if we yield to His truth and His ways, not if we hold on to ours. God will never bow to man. We must willingly humble ourselves and bow 
to God. Lord, we give you thanks for this word. Thank you for the words, Father, that you have had me speak unknowingly. Thank you for the Taiwanese people, your precious saints, your precious people and servants. We bless Taiwan in Jesus' name. And while we're at it, we bless Israel. We bless the United States of America. We bless Canada. We bless Australia. We bless Africa. We bless Central and South America. We bless the UK. We bless all of Europe, Asia, every nation on the face of the earth. We speak life. We speak deliverance. We speak peace. We speak Holy Spirit joy. In Jesus' name. Pesa rama soto. Rote basha rande ketera soto kota karama siti de bando shondrako. Serebere tenamanda tatara basha te kete roto shotoku rosu kundo kushande kete de kete batarashi de bete kanama. Soro masse baroto shoto oro sukunda ke shande kete rebete rakanda turomo suku ishenda koto rotaba siti rebeke. I am seeing lightning. I am seeing downpours. I am seeing monsoons, flooding, torrential rain. That's why I began to pray in the spirit. Father, I sp have spoken forth what I have seen. May you grant the understanding, Lord. Have your way. Deliver your people from the hands of the wicked, O God. We, your remnant, we shall not be moved. In fact, for enduring all the trials in the fiery furnace that each and every one of us have been going through, by enduring we shall be promoted in the spirit to such a degree it has not even entered into our minds. And then we will wreak havoc as ambassadors of Christ against the forces of darkness. And the enemy will be sorry he ever even looked in our direction, daring to attack the people of God. For the Lord himself shall arise from within us and shall shine forth his light of glory. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I bless your people, Lord. Release the supernatural provision, Lord. Release the storehouses in the name of Jesus. Release whatever it is that they need. Your word says you shall supply all their need according to to your riches in Christ Jesus. Provide now, Father. You are Jehovah Jireh, and we trust you and bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. I just felt this, this, this like blanket of heaviness and, of, and an authority just come forth. Thank you for agreeing with me, saints. The Lord bless you and keep you. Continue to pray for one another. If you want to have a great community, you can talk to 
at any time, join my Telegram channel. The link is down in the description below. This Telegram channel um, has been very active uh, these days. I can barely keep up. It tells me here, it looks like we had some people unsubscribe. Praise the Lord. Sift them away, Lord. We need the remnant. We need the sheep, not the goats. Looks like we have 1,900 subscribers at the moment. So hopefully you will join. It's completely free. Amen. And I send you prophetic news. And uh, as best I can, I send you video clips, things the Lord is sharing with me and so forth. Amen. So God bless you. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Let me know in the comments what part of this of this minister to you. Anything you want to say, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. God bless you. Love you all very much. And uh, don't forget to turn your notification bells on.